Okay, so let's have a look at splines now. Splines or paths are primarily a sequence of vertices connected by lines lying in 3D space. The shape of the connecting lines, straight or curved, defines the interpolation. Splines are not visible when rendered. The splines line has no three-dimensional depth, even though it occupies the 3D space. Okay, well, let's take a look at what that means. Let's go up here and grab one of our spline drawing tools, and we'll grab the linear. And by the way, don't ever draw in your perspective space because you're not going to get what you think you are. If I draw that and then I orbit around it, you're going to see that it's drawn that on the ground plane, which is not what it looked like when we drew it originally. And that's because it draws it at the point of view of the camera. So be sure you're in one of your orthographic views when you're using the drawing tools. So we'll just go to the front. We'll click a few points here. So this is the linear drawing tool, and it creates straight lines. You'll notice that the line is color-coded. It goes from white to blue, and that means the white is the starting point. Blue is the ending point. You can reverse that at any time by right-clicking and clicking on Reverse Sequence, and now you'll see it goes from blue to white. Also, you could come over here, and you could select one of your points, and you could right-click and change it to a soft interpolation. And then you're going to get your Bezier handles that you could actually change like this. I'm going to go ahead and change that back to hard interpolation. Right click, there we go. So if I stop drawing and I want to continue adding points to my spline, I can do that by selecting the Move tool, holding down Control on a PC or Command on a Mac, and clicking anywhere outside here. And it's going to continue to add lines. All right, let's get rid of this spline. Come up here. Now the freehand drawing tool. I'm not a big fan of this. I don't really see how it serves that much purpose. But if you like to use this, it's very similar to the pencil tool in Photoshop. It is definitely available to you. The B spline, this is a very handy drawing tool. And it basically creates an arc based on the last three points that you lay down. So it's very handy, draws very nice curves. Now, something else that I want you to notice over here in your Attributes Manager for all of the splines, you'll have a closed spline. So if you get this spline over here and you decide that you want to manipulate the points a little bit, when you're done, you can click Close Spline and it'll automatically close that for you. Okay, and last we have the Bezier spline, which is basically like the pen tool in Photoshop. So you can click. You get a straight line. If you drag, you get a curve. So you can pretty much do whatever you would do with the pen tool in Photoshop here with the Bezier pen tool. And we can close that spline as well. All right, so these are some of the drawing tools that are available to you here in Cinema 4D.